It's impossible to miss when you're cruising down I-95 in Providence. It is uh, 58 feet long, 9 feet high, and weighs 2 tons. And that's the point. In 1979, the company was growing, and my father said, you know, we need a new building. And they found this building along the highway, and he said, we'll put up some sort of billboard. In the end, a simple billboard wasn't the right choice for New England pest control. The only thing that would do, a giant termite. The Big Blue Bug has been on our roof since 1980. Its official name is Nibbles Woodaway. Nibbles is now so well known that in 2012, New England Pest Control became Big Blue Bug Solutions. CEO Brian Goldman runs the company with his brothers, Kevin and Scott. They're carrying on a legacy of entrepreneurship that started with their great-grandfather, James Goldman. 1906, my great-grandfather was living in Russia, and we're a Jewish family, and he was experiencing some anti-Semitism and decided that he was going to emigrate and came over to the U.S. By the time he went through Ellis Island and settled in Rhode Island, all he had was a nickel in his pocket. With that nickel, he started a window washing business. Later, his son Leonard expanded the business to pest control. Eventually, Brian's dad, Stephen, brought the big bug into the picture, though it started out purple. In 1980, when the bug first went up, my father really wanted to make it a perfect replica of an eastern subterranean termite. And so if you look under a microscope, there's a little purple tint to it. The only problem is they put it on the roof, and three months later, the sun faded it to blue. And so they said, okay, we'll paint it purple again. All right, now it's fading to blue again. The blue stuck, though Nibbles does change it up sometimes. During Chronicle's visit, he was wearing his red nose and antlers to look like Rudolph. And while other areas might have the Rockefeller tree or some other major events, everyone in Rhode Island knows it's Christmas when the big blue bug is lit up like Rudolph. Goldman says it's special to know that Rhode Island has embraced his dad's unusual idea. The most common thing we always hear is, I couldn't get my child to go to the dentist or to the doctor, and I told them we're going to go by the big blue bug, and they said, okay, I'll go. <laughs> Nibbles appears to be a fan of another Rhode Island mainstay, which has actually spread into Massachusetts. We got the inside scoop on Newport Creamery's oddly named Awful Awful at the company's restaurant in Seekonk. It's known as Awful Awful for being awful big, awful good. And it's a very thick shake that is used with our own proprietary blend of frozen milk. It is not actually made with ice cream. District manager Caitlin Dodson says the one-of-a-kind shake is only available at Newport Creamery, which has deep roots in Rhode Island. Newport Creamery started off as a milk company in 1928. Samuel Rector ran the business and was joined a few years later by his son Mason. In 1940, they tried something new. He opened what was called the first milk bar. He made the ice cream behind the Middletown Newport Creamery for a while. We never turned down a treat at Chronicle. And for my awful, awful lesson, we went big. The Cookie Monster Extreme. And just as Newport Creamery started off with milk, so does this sweet treat. All you should taste is frozen, frozen milk. milk. Okay, not ice cream. Not ice cream. <laughs> okay, kind of bland, right? It's definitely frozen milk. <laughs> After we scoop in the ice milk, it's time to add flavor with blue velvet vanilla and cookies. Feeling cookie monster here. <laughs> to get the cookie monster okay. flavor, we're going to put in this cup of Oreos. Then the tricky part, mixing it up without making a mess. When it comes to the Cookie Monster face, Dotson makes it look easy. Boop, boop, boop. Oh no, oh no. There we go, we just doctor it up a little bit. This really should be called Amazing Amazing. Can you actually finish the whole awful awful in one sitting? <laughs> no, that's too much. Dotson says nearly a century after Newport Creamery got its start, the awful awful keeps bringing people back. You can't go get it somewhere else. You know, if you come to Rhode Island, it's one of the things that people are looking for.
<laughs> and so these days you can only get the awful awful at Newport Creamery, but technically, I didn't know this, yeah. it's an import from New Jersey? Yeah, well, the Creamery's founders, the Rector family, they actually would vacation in New Jersey, and that is where they tried the awful awful at a restaurant yeah. called Bonds. They eventually bought the recipe and the trademark so that they could make it in their own restaurants. They yeah. must have loved it, and it was very good. Never knew. Oh, yes. no, they're delicious, <laughs> that's for sure. Come